Well, here's a dust collector after I rebuilt it. Uh, as you can see, this looks a lot like what you would commercially buy. Um, I've eliminated all the tubing that goes between the motor, the impeller, and the dust epi himself. Uh, it empties directly into the can. I've got the HEPA filter underneath um, with the bag to collect some of the fine particles. Uh, let me show you some of the details of this. Well, here's what happened to the old dust collector. Um, originally, there was the, the housing here, which houses the impeller and where the, the, the bag attaches. And there was a large plastic piece underneath here that was where the hose had attached to. Uh, and also, there was a floor sweep on it. I eliminated all that and I got rid of it. I trashed most of it. Um, what I'm left with is the motor, the housing, and the impeller. Um, I had to create this custom baffle because I had to move the dust deputy out from where the hole was for the, the, the intake for the impeller that goes into the rest of the system. So that's underneath here. There is baffles on the inside of this. Uh, this is kind of large. I just did this mostly for looks. Um, but inside here there's a ramp that goes down because again I had to bring this out. Um, I put a cap up on top of here to cap off the top of the, the housing. Again, I've got the donut with the cartridge that's screwed onto this. Um, when I go down a little bit, the dust duppy itself rests on a platform that's, that's screwed to the uprights here. Um, I thought about making just a small piece underneath here so I could use a, a, a larger hose that went down into the top of the can. This just made more sense to me. These are just wires that help keep this level. Uh, all in all, this is very sturdy and it, it's working very well. well. If you look at this right here, again, this is screwed to the top the way, just the way it was before except underneath. And uh, the bag is underneath here. I, just, I had to custom make a strap because again, I had to add an extra plywood donut, so to speak, underneath here so I could attach this bag. Um, this is very easy to clean. Uh, this is, unit is clean right now, by the way. And it's just a matter of spraying it off from the outside in with a uh, air compressor hose. This unit is very solid and, and it took a lot of engineering to get it done. I, again, I did it mostly on the fly. After I got it all together, I made one huge mistake. And uh, if you try to do something like this, try to think of every possible outcome. I thought I did that, but um, it's kind of funny, but then again it isn't. I got the whole thing built, I got all the engineering for this end worked out, all this worked out, I put it all together. The last stages of it were basically to attach this into here. The only problem was, this is 19 inches wide. Um, this is only 16 inches. Around the back here is only 16 inches. So I couldn't get it in. Um, it was kind of like building a ship outside the bottle and then trying to fit it inside. It just didn't work. Unfortunately, what I ended up having to do was I just took a jigsaw and I cut the uprights here and uh, used a spreader bar, spreader bar. It, it took some coaxing, but I finally got it back in and then I just uh, toenailed a couple screws back here and unfortunately I didn't break anything and this is this is very very strong um, but you know even the best laid plans of mice and men uh, but it did work out well and and I want to show you what I do with some of the hose or, or what I do with the hose on the end of it um, and give you some readings on those but well, remember on the last video everything was based off of four inch hoses there's a four inch hose going into the dust deputy even though it was a six inch on top and there was a four inch hose coming off of this, even though this is a five inch port, all done with reducers. So I purchased a five inch hose. Um, this was a 25 foot hose. Uh, finding a hose this length and five inch, a good quality hose was difficult, but I, I purchased the hose from the same people I bought the HEPA cartridge from, which was Wynn Environmental. And this is a very good quality hose. Uh, it was 25 feet long, and uh, it, it, it wasn't cheap. Um, nothing ever is. But uh, this 5-inch hose is going to go all the way to the machines. Now, I'm going to test this with the 5-inch hose and also with the 5 to 4-inch adapter. 
all my machines, the four machines I'm going to use to hook up to this anyways, all have a four inch dust port. Um, so I have to make a decision whether I'm not going to, or I'm going to try to replace those. On the bandsaw, I can't. On the thickness planer, I can't replace those. Those are four inch. Um, on the thickness planer and my table saw, I could replace those if I want. Um, but first, I'm going to test it with it without the adapter. I've got this this, this really nice uh, quick disconnect for four inch. Where I can just pull it off and pull it on, put it back on, without a lot of hassle. So. Let me test this now with the five inch hose. So what I've got is I've got the hose, I've actually cut this down to about 16 feet, just like my last hose was. And uh, I've got it laid out on the floor about where my table saw would be, which is where it is 90% of the time unless I'm milling wood. The only time I really move it around from unit to unit is when I'm moving it from the table saw to when I use the band saw. So it's not that big of a, of a thing and I don't need to run ducting all over the shop just for that. So um, I'm going to test it now with the five inch opening on there. So now I've got the five to four inch adapter on here. Again, this is what I'll be using all the time to hook up to my tools until I make that determination if I want to change out a few of those ports or not. I have it like this. Again, this is a quick disconnect. This is just a friction fit on those ports. I can just hook it up and move it. Uh, when I need to. So I've already run it without the this adapter on it. I'm going to run it with this and see what the CFM is on that. Well, I made those measurements and with the 5 inch hose just straight I was at 5,000 feet per minute in velocity. If you take that considering the cross section of the hose, again it's a 5 inch hose so the multiplier is different than the 4 inch hose. It's actually 680 CFM. I'm pretty impressed with that. That's a 225% increase over the old system, which was at 214 uh, CFM. Again, very substantial. Now, when I put the 5 to 4 inch adapter on the end of it, things changed quite a bit, uh, as I expected they would. The feet per minute went up. The velocity went up to 6,300 feet per minute. Now, you would think that would result in a higher CFM but it doesn't because of the size of the hose. Changes the multiplier. But still, I'm at 551 cubic feet per minute, which is huge. Um, that's a 183% increase over the last system. Um, I, I, I'm really, really happy with those results. Now again, that's with the system clean. Uh, I'm going to go through and I'm going to pick up 45 pounds of sawdust again. I'm going to dirty the whole system up and see what that drops when the system gets dirty. Here's the 15 pounds of sawdust again. Uh, I'm going to suck this up three times, dump it out, and uh, I'm going to take some readings again to find out what that differential is. Well, after picking up the 45 pounds of sawdust and testing it again, velocity dropped down to 6,100 feet per minute, which resulted in a 534 CFM. Now that's a 3% decrease, which is what I about expected because that's what it was last time. But just to give you an idea from where I started this whole odyssey to where I am now, started out at 214 CFM dirty. Now I'm at 534, rough almost 535 dirty. That's a 249% increase in, in cubic feet per minute draw on that, that back hose. Uh, it's two and a half times. That's that's substantial. Um, there was some cost to doing this. The HEPA filter was around $200. The hose was about $100. Uh, miscellaneous parts here and there, let's say another $25, $30. So I've, I've got some money into it. Um, but then again, buying a whole new dust collector uh, would have set me back to, to get something like this that I know would give me these results probably a thousand dollars or more with the cyclone. So it was a huge cost savings. I, I was able to take a 15 year old piece of equipment, re-engineer it, rebuild it with some parts, and uh, get a very effective dust collection system. And again, this is with a HEPA filter. So not only am I getting very efficient suction on one end, but I'm also getting very clean air coming out of the filter on the back end, which again is really important. So. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was very dry material. Thanks for sticking with me through it, but uh, thanks for watching.